Hi there, everybody, and good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Uh, another decent start to our morning out there, and pretty quiet for the most part after some overnight showers and storms, some severe weather again, especially in northern portions of Nebraska, another line of storms that once again, unfortunately, kind of fizzled out before they made it into the Tri-Cities area, leaving the Tri-Cities with very little, if any, precipitation. Still a little bit ongoing just west of the Tri-Cities this morning. That will shift to the southeast, and more than likely, we will see a dry day, only a small chance of rain and thunderstorms in the forecast as a cold front dives south the best chance would be to the southwest. Uh, one thing of note about today as well, because it's the last day of June, if uh, Grand Island does not receive much precipitation, uh, uh, because Grand Island's been one of the driest uh, parts of the viewing area this month, uh, it will be the driest June on record. Now, on average, we usually see over four inches of rain in the Grand Island area, and that probably goes for about the same in the rest of the Tri-Cities as well. Uh, but Grand Island has only seen five hundredths of an inch of rain. The old record for the driest June ever was in 1922 with 43 hundredths of an inch of rain. So we got to pick up 32 or 38 hundredths of an inch in the next, uh, oh, what is it now, 17 hours. And that's going to be very tough to do. So more than likely, we'll see the driest June on record here as we uh, wrap up today and move into July here the next couple days. Now tonight, again, still a small chance of rain, but the better chances will be off to the southwest. Most of us will see a fairly quiet night ahead of us. And that trend continues into tomorrow, although we may start to see an increase in clouds from the southwest. Can't rule out a shower or storm around the Tri-Cities. Better chances do remain to the southwest. But with the clouds around, it's going to be a cooler day out there. Highs in the 70s for most of us on your Friday. As for your risk of severe weather today, it's not really good, but a marginal risk in southwestern portions of Nebraska. Most of us will not have to deal with severe weather today. As for temperatures for today, still in the 80s for the most part, low and mid 80s up north. Can't even allow an isolated shower storm to the north. To the west, again, a little bit better chance out there. Highs in the mid 80s for the most part. In the south, we're looking at just a small chance of showers and storms. Highs in the mid and upper 80s this afternoon. And to the east, we're looking at mid and upper 80s. Maybe a slightly better chance of rain and a thunderstorm popping up later this afternoon around the Lincoln to Beatrice area. Otherwise, uh, lower chances towards York and Hebron. The next seven days, again, cooler weather to start off the month of July. Again, still just a small chance of rain on Friday, but then Friday night, especially after midnight and into Saturday, chances of rain will pick up as a bigger uh, disturbance makes its way in out of the west. I think, uh, especially for folks in northern Kansas, you're going to see the best chance of rain overall, but even southern Nebraska has a decent chance of showers and storms out there. Tri-Cities, about a 50-50 chance. The farther north you go, the lower your chance of rain will be, though. But Saturday, many of us may struggle to hit 70 degrees. We could see a lot of places with highs in the 60s. Back into the 70s on Sunday as our chances of rain start to go down. Should be dry for Sunday night and into uh, Independence Day on Monday. Monday, it looks like highs in the 80s. I've dropped that temperature back a little bit here for the early parts of next week. It looks like the heat may be delayed just a little bit, but does start to build in towards the middle of the week. And a little bit of instability does also mean chances of uh, thunderstorms return, at least slight chances, maybe a better chance towards next Tuesday night. So again, uh, big cool down for July, uh, at least the start of July here. Unfortunately, it remains dry, but maybe some better chances of rain here these next couple of days. Who is that sneaking around back there behind? me as we check out uh, again the next couple of days hopefully some of us will get some beneficial moisture and those in kansas have actually gotten some moisture hey spread the wealth north a little bit tri-cities really does need some rain so hopefully we can pick some up these uh, next couple of days so there's your forecast for today until next time i'm meteorologist travis klineski and i hope you have a great thursday